two, we got a brush. We got a brush. Okay. Was that intentional? No. no. <laughs> anyway, welcome to today. We are at the barn. Oh, clearly. Look at my treats. <laughs> okay, yeah, we do not need treats. Kaylin gave me half a purse and I took a huge handful, so. <laughs> okay, so basically we're gonna just start using like three treats to lure well, our horses in. I already in. have my treats. Okay. They're in my palm. My, are you my sure they're not all over your than... face? <laughs> my treats right. are more than a handful. I need you to take some off. We bought stuff at the tax store yesterday. We had to bring it in. You brought stuff? Before we can go get our horse. And it's raining and this is what happens when it rains, but I got my barn boots on. Oh gosh. Where are your horses? Down there. Show the limits with you right your feelings the city screaming we're not coming home tonight call your horses call them call them gabby he comes the dad <laughs> but look over there <laughs> do you see where she's looking oh Stella, she... i have treats she knows oh Gosh. Oh, stampede. Fine. They all are going We caused the stampede. They all disappear. They will let you down. And there's tech. So we better stick together. Let's come whatever. We're not coming home tonight. We're living quick. Isn't that amazing? We're gonna get it right <laughs> now. She hasn't, Kaylee hasn't been training Tex, but look, he came with Storm anyway, so it's just a hop, skip, and a jump. The girls are saying that their horses are disgusting because of the mud. You see what I mean about Gabby being a little slow? Kaylee had to go five million, oh, she has a rope halter. Kaylee had to go five million miles to get her horse, and Gabby's still not ready. <laughs> She gets that from her father, just so you guys know. There, Stella's over there waiting. We only need the two of us together. We only need the two of us together. Oh, Kaylin! <laughs> Apparently, look at his legs. Apparently, rolling in the mud is fun for boys. When I had little boys at home, I there used to they used to play in the mud. All those are skeletons, skeletons, I know. Trotting. That was in his butt. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Gabby, wait, stop. He's gonna trip on his blanket. That's what bell boots look like. Okay, come on. He smells me. <laughs> One of the other horses is winning at at Tex and Kaylee screamed. He has a girlfriend. Oh my gosh. Somebody's excited. Somebody's on the move. You guys, this 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 might actually be happening. You know what? She's interested though. Am I dreaming? This is a cute little paddock. I know I want those on that one. Okay. Oh gosh. Apparently, oh my gosh. You guys. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> so we better stick together. Let's come whatever. We're not coming home tonight. We're living quick in this world. Gonna get it right now. We only need the two. See these 
either Just really dirty and doesn't like it, or she loves us, or she wants a treat. We only need the two of us together. <laughs> Good girl. You're amazing. See, she's just holding out, you guys. Everything worth having is worth waiting for. She wants us. She wants us. Oh, you're so good. Oh my gosh, a miracle just happened, baby girl. <laughs> Sophie, oh my are you God. sure you want a new horse? I need to get because. This horse, I'm telling you, the more you have to work for something to happen, the greater the success feels. Slug, are you guys talking about getting a new horse? I'll come to you so that I can show you that you don't need a new horse. It is a I muddy day. Mud. We were supposed to go on a big trail ride today, but, but I think it's not going to happen. Yesterday it looked like a horse was running her off and that's why she came to us. I think she was coming to us anyway. I think yesterday was the day. Yesterday was the day where she was going to come to us. I think us. she was like, I might as well go. No one like likes me in this field. No, I think she thinks that when she comes with us, sometimes good things happen. Yeah, very funny. Yeah, like she doesn't know. Here, wait. You have to stop everything. Kisses. How are we going to get the sink clean? <laughs> I don't know. I was just thinking the same thing. Like, how are we going to get this thing clean? So we better stick together. Let's come whatever. We're not coming home tonight. Alright, break away not. Shoot, I got mud on my neck. You should have your hair done up. It's a messy day at the okay. barn. So I tie it up like this tight just because um I tie like big knots. So that when I pull this, it gets tight, like looser. Um, so all I do is this, which is really easy. And then I pull it. <laughs> so that it has more room for the horse. And so basically, if she pulled hard, it would just come undone. No, if it pulled, if she pulled hard, like when someone brushes up here, you just pull this. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And yeah. Here, wait, let me try. Mom, hold she would this. break free. Up here, though. Okay. So in half. Sisters teaching sisters. Yep. yep. Right here. Put it through. Oh. Now, pull this through. Okay. And then, pull this through. Sophie, you got it. And Stella wants to eat it. <laughs> oh, nope. Then it's not there. So, and if this happens, just... We almost... Oh, my goodness. And pull. Okay. Is we it? almost bought you guys neck things for your blankets. So apparently I'm cleaning this. This heck on the inside and they were too loose. Blame dad. They might be too big. They're in a horse size and Storm needs like a large pony. Yeah, Storm's just got small feet. Storm's got like a... Stella will get you all cleaned up. A thoroughbred body with a big butt. Somebody asked about this. I absolutely hate it. It falls off my hand all the time. I prefer a little hard one like that. That but one's like, um, here mom, you can use this one. Okay. Um, this is a massager. Mom, you need to fill a bag. Yeah, sh I don't know why she's shedding. Shedding. Mom, that piece gets all the dirt loose and stuff. Yeah, it's not gonna be a clean day, but she's got mud all under her belly and I was rubbing it and she was sucking in her belly. I'm like, you are such a woman. <laughs> My horse loves to be brushed right here on both sides. Daddy, I did not tell you the miracle that happened. She oh. came. Oh yeah, she came, but she didn't just come. She came walking fast to us. I saw. Tex, you gotta catch up now. Storm came trotting, Mom. Whatever Stella does, Storm tops it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So Sophie has this shredding blade. Uh, yeah. Shedding blade. Get okay. her off. Plus she's shedding, so it's kind of good. The Stop your whining. <laughs> and then I will take you for a canter, and then we'll be done. Right? Yeah. Sophie feels like Stella's saying. Because she just sucked in her belly. So she could put the girth on. She feels it, and she came to her. What do you think Stella's saying to you? 
Just get on, kid, and we'll take you for a canter, and then you can get off. Yeah, do you want to go for a canter? No. <laughs> I think she's saying, like, come on, I'm oh, your friend she now. She just nodded her head. <laughs> Anyway, um, the other day when Estella almost cantered with me after it happened, I'm so sad it didn't happen. Like, I, I just, I wanted it to happen so bad. Like, mm. she's acting really weird. First she comes to me in the field, and then she sucks in her belly so that I can do the girl. Yeah, like, And then things... she nods her head, yes, so that she wants to canter. She's acting really weird. She likes us now, you guys. It's happening. We're living quick in this world, gonna get Together. <laughs> Storm. Is he behaving? Yeah. Oh, so why'd you switch? Because he's been so good? Oh, okay. So Gabby's going bitless today. Remember, Storm has not ridden for six days. So Sophie told me today that the next person to get a new horse that's going to happen soon is. Who's the next person to get a horse in this family? Mom. Why? Why, Mom? Because I already had a horse. Yeah, Sophie loves her. So what made changed your mind? Still coming to me in the field? <laughs> yeah. Because it just changes everything. It um, does change everything. I know. So we found that Stella um, spending time in the arena without being ridden has really been making... Yeah, even... Stay still. Stay still. I don't know where we're going to go. Has really been making a even huge when difference. It's really noisy. And she's like, oh... That's noise, but then to my owner's confidence. Yeah. Then I do don't not give her scared. any more treats. No more treats. And no more. Treats. No more treats because this girl needs to lose weight. Um, but so Sophie's gonna get on and ride in a little bit after the she's boyfriend. acclimatized to the arena. The I heard you screaming. He already has a boyfriend, a girlfriend. Yes. Oh, I can't see you. The, the new horse. The new horse. <laughs> Was, nay, was nickering at him, and she's like, he has a girlfriend. Who's his girlfriend? Stella. Stella, <laughs> Stella you got Kaylee looking out for your love interest. Yeah. But I love every boy. So know. he's feeling good? Yeah. Good. Storm will tell us if he's not feeling good. So I've he's been trotting, and now I'm like, I'm ready to canter, Gabby. She's like, you're joking. <laughs> yeah, one thing about our girls is that they take a long time to warm up. I know. See, that's why they're girlfriend boyfriend. I know. We need to switch horses. <laughs> Either she's finally figured out that every time she does whatever we need her to do, she's going to get treats, or she's just really become the center of her own world and is finally we're starting to trust. And not long ago, I said, I said, we're going to stop what we're doing now and we're going to only focus on bonding. And that meant treats and it meant a whole different thing where we worked her less. And we veered off of what we were doing and we changed it and it's working you guys. It's working. She's calming down. She's building a bond and I think that that was the most important thing that needed to happen here. And a lot of things are changing and I cannot wait to see how it's going to end. We're home and we are going to do our shout out of the day. And before I do, the um, um, equestrian react video that we did yesterday, we judged a girl harshly. Um, and badly. That was the whole point of the whole video was that we sucked at judging people and nobody and it's because nobody can judge anybody because you don't walk in their footsteps. So that was the point of the video. Anyways, I think a lot of people misunderstood the point of that video and so we're gonna move on. But I did ask at the end of yesterday's video um, for our shout out winners today to comment what they liked about Lauren's riding. So um, I'll be bold as said, as far as Lauren's riding goes, my favorite thing is that she did it. In spite of everything, she got on those horses and worked hard to do what she loves. And that to me makes every single ride beautiful. West Point Stable said, what I loved most about Lauren's riding wasn't really her position or anything like that. It was the smile and the joy that was practically radiating off of her as she rode. I love the passion that she had for riding. And that was so obvious even without hearing her story. Mel Bowell said, Hello, having watched the Riding Reacts video yesterday from beginning to end, it truly was inspirational. I suffer from some knee pain, but that's nothing compared to what Lauren has had to contend with for her entire life and will, conti and will continue to. The perseverance that Lauren has shown to do something she loves and clearly gets immense joy from is amazing. For me, seeing someone smile riding a horse no matter how good they are or what they're doing, they could just be sitting on the horse or walking. Yeah, I agree. Like, exactly. 
so many of you guys did not understand what the video was about and that's okay but a lot of you guys did and i just want to say thank you for that and thank you for supporting lauren i pinned her um a comment to me and so many of you guys thumbed up her comment and so many of you guys responded back to her and i think that that's amazing and i'm so proud to call you guys day fam and um thanks so much for watching today's video okay. Are you guys ready for an easy one? So for tomorrow's video, for, for tomorrow's video, um, we're gonna choose somebody who comments below what they did to bond with their horse. One single important thing that they did to bond with their horse. Easy. For me with my horse is give him treats. Yeah, so Gabby and Storm had so much trouble at the beginning. You guys might remember if you've been following along that long. But I even had like two disabled comments on one video because so many people were like being mean about how Storm and Gabby did not have a connection. And you know how she did it? She took him to eat grass all the time when we take him back to his, his stall or to the field. At our old barn. Yeah. Since there's like no there's no grass in the field she would take him and she would just sit there while he ate grass and boom connection and what happened with stella we stopped doing all the stuff we stopped working her really we hard give her grass. we stopped doing everything except for focusing on bonding with her and we gave her treats and we gave her love and we gave her attention and we brought her with us and just hung out with her in the arena and it worked because it's working it's working but anyway comment below what you did to bond with your horse see you next time bye Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.